Hi friends, I am Mario Joseph. Peace be to you. Do you know where I am standing? In the beginning of my conversion from Islam to Christianity, there was a lot of crisis in my life. The Muslims were after me and especially my parents were after me because they believed that they will get salvation only if they kill me. Those days I was in need of a place where I can hide. That's how I came to this place. and it is uh, the valley of a huge hill station after coming here i have built a small hut a hermitage for myself and then i lived in this hermitage for four years not one or two and it is a beautiful place because as i said it is in hill station and the downside of this there is a pond a water pond you can see that water through the leaves and uh, i stayed here in a calm mind uh, learning and studying uh, the christian spirituality now you may be wondering where is this place is now i will show you where is this place my brothers look at this board it is written shanti ashram and it is benedictine monastery mukhadal and it belongs to the archdiocese of marthanda and if you really ask me where is this place it is in kanyakumari district and nearby nagarkoil come and follow me i will show you this ashram when you enter you can see on the gate three signs one is the islamic sign and then christian sign and hindu sign so the omkar is there and cross is there and the cross and moon is there so this ashram says welcome all religious people because you all are belongs to god and god loves you and god created you shall we enter in those days when i stayed here i when i entered here first time i was so happy because both said lot of flowers it is just like a paradise on the earth and a cool climate too and the right and left side you can see lot of vegetable gardens all the vegetables which we must consume and we must eat it is already planted there and we the ashram monastery people cultivate it Now when I go up to the ashram I can see my wife coming down from there. You know in fact I met Gigi from Divine Retreat Center when she came to attend retreat and to attend Bible college but our wedding took place from this church where I am standing right now. Now I stand in front of this beautiful church. If you look at the church you may be confused whether it belongs to Christians or Hindus or Muslims because the structure belongs to all religion. When the founder of this ashram came to this place there was no church. All the local people here they were literally poor and they were bricks makers and then farmers and they believed in everything they were pantheistic they believe and they found god in everything and they worshiped everything but this priest who founded this ashram he could enter into the people and uplift them helping them in many ways emotionally mentally for the education and for physical needs and slowly slowly they all came to know the love of jesus christ and they all decided to become catholics and many of them received baptism and there we have a good parish today hundreds of families too and now i am standing in front of this chapel inside the chapel you know early morning 5:30 there is a morning prayer and 6 to 7 there is holy mass and then blessed sacrament is exposed till evening and some people especially the aged people those who have been taken care by this ashram will be sitting inside and praying for each one of you and me i feel so happy whenever i come here because 24/7 there is a intercessory prayer for the universe and for the needy people Presently I am standing in front of a beautiful room and this is called Satsang Hall. Every evening after dinner we all especially the ashram inmates enter into this room and we discuss our day. 
you know what all blessings we received and what all things we learned how we grow spiritually today so that satsang discussion gives us a lot of spiritual growth every day i think when we live in a family or in a society or wherever we are the satsang method is too good evening before going to bed parents and children sitting together and discussing their that day's blessings and the sufferings within few minute you know that brings a bond between each one of us and we will be able to help each one now uh, jiji came to me explaining her experience in this ashram because even though i met her from divine retreat center uh, i was staying in this ashram i used to go to divine weekly once to give my testimony and preach the word of god and come back to this ashram so she was very happy when she came to meet me in this ashram and she explained how thrilled she was to travel with me from here to her home because her home is only 50 km away from this ashram now she is explaining about her experience in this ashram when she met me and when we planned to marry to live together there was nobody for mr mario joseph to support so she remember two three families those who were in help for us those days and i will just play their yeah. video here because this morning when i came to this place i went to those families to visit them all four families they are very unique families and very loving families they were more than my parents uh, supporting me in all the ways for my wedding arrangements now we really thank the lord for all the blessings he showered on us because we were literally nothing we were zero but he lifted us till this situation dear lord we thank you for this life in a special way when we look at our past we realize you brought us from zero till here from nothing to this situation even though we have been traveling through difficult ways you were with us all the time sometime we felt loneliness and sometimes we felt we were blamed and ignored by everyone sometime we suffered financially sometime we were sick physically sometime even we thought our life is over but today we realize even in those moments without our knowledge you were holding our hands you were guiding us we thank you for the blessings and protections we remember the people whom you sent to support us in our difficulties dear lord we lift unto you every persons who asked us pray for them in a special way we pray for those who subscribe to philokalia youtube channel We all have our own difficulties which no one knows. Bless everyone those who are listening this prayer. Make them a witness to others. Let them also be like a guide. Today we are newspaper on the ground which nobody cares. But if you touch us today tomorrow we will become like a kite in the sky. with our holy mother holy angels and our patron saints we pray we surrender this prayer in the name of jesus amen